Governors of Nigeria's northwestern states have shut down all schools across the region for 30 days as a precautionary measure against the spread of the coronavirus disease known also as COVID-19. The chairman of the forum, also the governor of Kassina State, Aminu Bello Masari, made this known in a communique issued at the end of their meeting, which held in Kaduna, the Kaduna state capital. And joining us via phone is the senior pastor, Trinity House Church, Pastor Itwa Igudalu. Good morning. Good morning and thank you for joining us, Pastor. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm very well. And now uh, we go straight to the matter of coronavirus and all the restrictions that we're hearing. First of all, as a pastor, uh, it's, it's 50, not too much even. Uh, you know, the recommendation is not to be in any gathering that is above 50. The first question would be, is 50 not too much? Well... I don't know how we arrived at the figure of 50, but it looks like if it's a safe number that has enough volume without having too many people, if it was fewer than that, then it might look as though very, very few, very scanty. So I think the government is saying you can have small, small functions, uh, just about enough people, reduce the risk. It's not going to totally eliminate it, but at least the risk is reduced. And uh, you can still have a little bit of a function mm -hmm. so that your life does not totally ground to a halt. So I think that is the consideration here. All right. And uh, we'll accept that number. Okay. Th talking about trying to, you know, uh, curtail the risk, what are you doing? What's your church doing uh, this time? Well, we'll be making announcements to the congregation uh, right from the pulpit through our various social media handles, educating them. We've got one or two experts to speak on the matter. And so our people are very well informed, and access to the church has been restricted. Uh, we do the temperature test, and of course, there's sanitizer, and there's running water all over the place. So we're watching out, and our doctor are on standby so that uh, uh, we can arrest anything that shows up uh, during the congregational meetings. And then information to our people wherever they are. And we're also on hand to react very quickly should they need our support. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, of course, you do know that um, the religious leaders hold a very important position in our country, both Christians and Muslims and other religious uh, leaders. But we've had conversation in some quarters and people saying, well, they will stay true to their faith and will defy uh, restrictions or the, what the government has said. What are your thoughts on that? Is that the way to go at this time? Even the Bible says that we should respect and support constitutional constituted authority, especially when they're not going against the word of God. The government has been put there to try and bring some order and sanity and security and protection mm -hmm. and help in the lives of its citizens. No government means the citizens ill. They just want to protect us. So if that's what the government is saying for a season, mm -hmm. no problem. We all know what's going on out there. The uh, Bible also says be white and uh, obey the rule of law. So if that's the rule, we will obey. And that's what I said. All right. Thank you so very much, Pastor Itwa, for your time this morning. Thank you very much. Thank you.